Hello there, welcome back to the channel. This is the part 10 of the .NET Core microservice with ABP series. In this, we are going to see how to set up the Docker containers for your services and also set up a CI CD pipeline for your microservice. As always, I have created the blog post with all the information you need. Um, I have the solution here and you can see that we have an identity server, um, gateway, and then uh, the HTTP API host, which, and then the identity host, and then the SAS host. So all these five needs a Docker file. So, um, since all the projects are available in the solution, we can just go and then right click and then say, add um docker support and then the docker option i will choose linux and then click ok and you can see visual studio just created a docker file for us uh, and it also already copied all the project references and it also does the build and then creates a final published um docker file you don't have to do anything uh, basically just add it and then um just save the file uh, you will already have um, a Docker file here if you when during the project creation from the ABP just delete that because that's not valid anymore because we deleted a bunch of projects and also the references are um, different right now. So just make sure you delete the existing Docker file and then go to uh, the add menu in the Visual Studio and then choose Docker support and then click OK. And you just have to do that for almost all the applications. I have already done it for the first two. I will do that quickly and for the next three and then we can go to the next step. Okay, so now we have a Docker file for all the applications. So we have one, two, three, four, and five Docker files. And this is for SaaS service, this is for identity service, and this is for administration, and then a gateway, and and the identity server. So you can come and then check whether the Docker file is building by right clicking here, and then you have a build Docker image, and you can see that uh, the Docker image build will start. Okay, so the build was succeeded, and then it went through all the steps, and then it just finally created an image uh, with the name uh, Tasky Identity Server, and then we have our image done. And if you want to go and check the images, open the um, PowerShell and then say Docker ES images image ELS and then you will see the list of images and then in the image you will see identity server dev which is which is available. So uh, we can also do uh, another way which is opening the um, terminal here and I will um, go back to the blog post. You have a bunch of uh, Docker commands here to run. So I will use the gateway because gateway is the simple and easy one. It doesn't have so many steps. And then I will run it. Okay. And then Docker image ls. And you have a gateway available right now and tagged as dev, which was created six minutes ago. So you can locally run these things and then figure out whether these are working or not. Once you're confident all these things are working, check in and then uh, we can set up a CACD pipeline in the GitHub actions. Okay, in the um, GitHub repository, I have added, the, I have just committed the check in uh, thing, added Docker, and that's where all the Docker files are available. Just uh, click on the repository and then click actions here. And then in the actions, you will have a bunch of um, actions suggested for your uh, repository. In that, I will say uh, Docker image. So uh, this gives me a basic um, Ubuntu machine uh, with um, Docker commands available for me. So what I would do right now is I will just copy this and then and then paste it in the apps. So it's uh, basically building the Docker image and then tagging them as a gateway and then identity server administration, um, identity service and SAS. So to save, just 
commit the um, docker image file and then the actions will automatically start so it starts and you can click here and then you can see what's going on uh in the build so it's building the gateway right now and it will go on and then build all the other uh, images okay now our build is successful uh, as you can see it took um, five minutes to complete and you can navigate inside and then see all the log messages and um, here we have attacked the gateway as gateway colon dev and all our uh, docker build command has been successfully ran at the end it also uh, completed the job and cleaned up so uh, and you can see it from the green tick mark here uh, which says our um, the entire pipeline is successful so that means we had a bunch of steps uh, in, uh, in the uh, workflow and all the steps are successful and you will see a github workflow file inside here and this is what controls the entire workflow uh we are not doing anything fancy we are saying hey if there is anything coming to the branch master uh or if there is any pull request coming in uh just make sure to run the docker build and then uh tag the image as dev um yeah and this way we, we always have a latest uh dev container available in your uh, in your repo so it's pretty easy to do with uh, docker actions and uh, there are a few other ways to do it uh, you can also use uh, azure pipelines or uh, jenkins if you are into that but um, github actions is the easiest way to do it uh, it it will just work out of the box and you don't have to do so much as you've seen yeah um that's pretty much it for this video um i will try to do another video on on explaining how to add a new service to the list of services so we have admin service identity service and SaaS service so that means our base project is working we have an angular app and then the identity server app so this is the base project but if you actually want to do uh, your own services that means you have to come and add a new service and then configure every, all these new services with the base solution so that will be the next ideal step add a new service to it and then um, see how we can uh, configure this new service into this microservice architecture um yeah uh, until then uh, if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel uh, and i will see you again sooner bye bye